Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel, where, if you haven't noticed, I haven't shared a video since last autumn, which is naturally where today's adventure will begin. I'm hoping you will join me on a beautiful late autumn walk, and then we're gonna make some rose hip serum together, as well as some other remedies, and we'll also have a cozy chat about some New Year's goals. But first, I thought we could start by making a nice and calming cup of tea. Okay, are you ready? Let's go on a cozy autumn walk together. The weeks leading up to winter felt like a long and slow call to sleep. I feel incredibly inspired at this time, this quiet time, but it's the type of inspiration that I keep close to my heart, like a flame. At times I feel lost, constantly fighting with myself in which direction I need to go. There's something about this time that just teaches me to be still. Occasionally, a grey and mundane world is interrupted by what I've referred to as a glimmer, a little wave from beyond, a sign to keep moving forward. This moment on the dam, just as I was thinking, why am I even doing this, was one of those magical glimmers in the form of a very kind cyclist. I make these videos to share my thoughts and interests with like-minded people, because there are people out there who see and appreciate your creativity, your unique mind, and your gentle spirit. A big goal of mine this year is to relax more especially in how and what I create. That is the mercurial nature of creativity, after all. It is a flame, or a glimmer, and I shouldn't allow my own inner critic to stifle that. If you are watching this now, I wish to pass on the same love and support that I received from the anonymous girl on the dam. What you do is beautiful. I hope you can remember that. Later on in the video, I'll be showing my progress with the elderberry elixir as well as the calendula oil, both preparations I started in the autumn time. But for now, before we sit down and catch up, I wanted to show you how I make my rose hip serum, which is something I do every year. <laughs> I started this infusion back in October, when the rose hips were at their ripest. I love this time of year very specifically. I call it the season of dancing lights, because there's still leaves on the oak tree outside, and as the sun sets in the west, it filters through, creating a beautiful shimmering haze in the kitchen. But enough of my fancifulness, let's just make some rose hip serum. To begin, I am straining out my carrier oil. This is grapeseed oil infused with feverfew from my summer garden. I'm adding some plantain as well. You can use whichever plain carrier oil of your choice. I simply have these infusions already on hand. And of course, both feverfew and plantain are skin soothing herbs, so I thought this would be the perfect base. I've dried my rose hips in the oven for a few hours on the lowest setting. Just leave the door open to release any moisture. 
You can use fresh rose hips, but obviously that risks mold and you wouldn't crush them. I'll link a helpful video on this method down below. And the rest is simple. Instructions are the same for any other oil infusion I've done elsewhere. But something very important I want to add here. Homemade rosehip serum isn't the same as professionally cold-pressed rosehip serum. The two offer very different skin benefits. Homemade is still skin soothing and is rich in antioxidants. However, vitamin C is not oil soluble, so it won't be present in a homemade infusion. Again, I am not a professional, and there are plenty out there who could explain this a little bit better than me. Some even argue that homemade rosehip serum is useless, and even seed oil is harmful for the skin. That can be the tricky part about working with plants, it is not an exact science and the effects could differ from each individual. So as usual, do your own research and use your best judgments for any plant that you want to work with. But I've been doing this for a few years and my face hasn't fallen off. People also tell me that I look young, but then that could be genetics or the fact that I bathe in the blood of all the men who've wronged me. A girl needs her beauty secrets, am I right? Anyway, let's just sit down and chat for a bit. Hello! It has been so long since I've sat down to film, so I might be a little rusty, but I wanted to film an intro for this since we haven't talked since October. Hope you guys are doing good. It's almost midwinter here. We're at the very end of January, and I can't believe the first month of the year is almost over. So I just thought that now would be the perfect time to have like a cozy midwinter chat and maybe talk about some plans for this year. Maybe it can inspire you or encourage you to look at what you want to do this year. In this video, we're also going to be working on some herbal remedies together. I'm going to try to be more interactive and explain more what I'm doing because I realized in my last couple of videos um, I'm making the preparation, but I fail to include um, like certain information like what it's good for and how long, uh, what the shelf life is and lots of technical things like that and I know a lot of you are interested because that's usually the comments that I get so I'm sorry that I haven't been more thorough before and I do want to try to expand more on my, um, on the way I share uh, my herbal knowledge even though I'm just a hobbyist as you guys will know. Today we're going to touch back on the elderberry elixir that I started in October, as well as the calendula oil, and then I'm going to be doing a rose hip serum, which you've just seen the process for that, but I wanted to kind of start the video off with uh, something slow and calm. I didn't want to immediately be like, hello, because that's a little off-putting. <laughs> Uh, that's a little off-putting for some people and completely understandable. And then later on in the video, I figure we could go over some New Year's resolutions. But before we do any of that, I thought I would just reintroduce myself because I have a lot of new subscribers here. My last video was did quite well, and in um, typical Kelly fashion, I gained a lot of momentum on this channel and then I dropped off the face of the earth. Maybe maybe I'm feeling the pressure of my channel growing and I don't want to like live up to it or I feel I can live up to it, but it's not that serious. Like I said in the beginning, uh, I make these videos for fun um, to share my own I say weird and strange hobbies, but it really isn't that strange when you think about like some people's hobbies. My name is Kelly and I run this channel, The Hearth Fairy. I've been on YouTube for four years now. In the last year, I expanded a bit more and I started sharing some sewing content, which you seem to really enjoy. So I plan to continue uh, down that vein as well as continuing with my herbal remedy series. I was re-watching the videos and I thought, 
I should probably really like get on my grimoire. Uh, if you don't know what a grimoire is, it's like a, it's like my herbal notebook. It's a very practical place where I can record uh, my workings with different plants and their properties, as well as drawings and illustrations and all of the fun, pretty stuff. So I'll be continuing with my herbal remedy videos this year. I'll be diving more into sewing and just my general vlogs. I do create these just to sort of have an escape and. And I personally love watching videos like this. I love the sort of chatty format where I see the person behind the videos, but also I love to see what they're making and how they make it. And I just, I just think it's beautiful. So yes, a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome back to everybody who's been following along. Your support means so much. It really does. And let's just jump right into the next part of the video where we'll be preparing some herbal remedies together. So my elderberry elixir is ready to be strained out. It's been infusing for uh, two months, just about two months. So I'm gonna get started. This is all a little impromptu. I have been procrastinating on making or preparing these remedies for a couple of weeks now, and I'm just ready to get it done. Also, I'm sorry if I look like a hot mess. I am a hot mess. Okay, I'm checking in for the third or fourth time this season. I still have calendula flowers. And that's that. I thought after sharing that bit with you, just tying up all my loose ends from autumn, as usual, there are lots of loose ends. Um, I thought now we could sit here together and maybe talk about some goals for this year. I 
I've never been one of those really cool people that just doesn't set New Year's resolutions. That is not the attitude that we have here. You really shouldn't base your New Year's resolutions around uh, the ego. I think it needs to come from a, from a place of inner, inner wealth. So let's just jump into mine. <laughs> I'm using the same book. You guys may recognize this from my video from last January or the end of December and I write my New Year's resolutions in it as well as important insights and feelings that I have during eclipses and certain transits and it's just a great encouraging place to come back to. I'm burning some incense over here by the way so if you see smoke coming um, don't be alarmed. I, I, my number one goal for this year is to maintain and celebrate recovery. This time last year I was really struggling with my health and I, I have struggled with my health for the past couple of years. So to be able to sit here now and know that I overcame a lot of those big hurdles in the past year is really encouraging because you can't achieve any sort of outward uh, material goal uh, without first having a strong healthy foundation. I am so bad with money. You know, everybody has a shadow side and one of my big shadows is I'm terrible at saving money and I love stuff. Obviously, I'm not a minimalist. I'm tidy, but I love things. As somebody who idolizes people like uh, fictional characters like Molly Weasley and Bilbo Baggins, I could never be a strict minimalist. And I work at a thrift store, so I love little bits and bobs. But this year, one of my like micro resolutions is to have a low buy year before I buy something, even if it's cheap and secondhand. I'm thinking, am I gonna wear this? And does it have a functional use? Does it bring me joy? And so on. I'm gonna move the mic just a little bit closer. One of my next big goals, and this is sort of a little announcement I wanted to make, is to uh, begin my clothing line, which I have named Hearth Meadow. I was thinking of maybe making a separate video to talk about that, and perhaps I will. But for now, uh, it's gonna be a small, slow fashion label by me, or slow production, because I can make about one or two dresses in a week. So I didn't want to make it a big deal, um, because a lot of it's gonna be samples, things that I've sewn, uh, and I've got, I've ordered my, my labels. It's so official looking. I'm like, this is amazing. We can, we can do hard things, right? I wrote Thrive with my YouTube channel and my creative business, which piggybacks on the last uh, goal. And I think I've done better here on this channel. I've definitely shared more um, videos in the past year and I've branched out more and obviously I'm sitting here talking to the camera, something I never uh, did before, so I've definitely become more confident in that, I guess. I'm, I'm still really working on it and thank you for your patience as I try to figure this out. Those are just my general goals for the year. Um, I do want to go in and probably tighten them up and be more specific because that is something very important is uh, visualization and knowing exactly what you want. It may not turn out exactly the way you envisioned, but it's important to have um, have the discipline to actually like see it through and I think visualization and writing things down really helps. Those are just my goals for this year. And if you feel like it, maybe you could share yours in the comments. Let me know one of your big goals for this year and I will send positive vibes your way. Thirsty. So yes, I think that's everything. I wanted to keep this pretty brief even though I haven't been here for a while, but just know that I am trying to embrace this winter season of rest and reflection, um, inner reflection, and I do hope to kind of come out of my shell a bit more in the spring, which we all do. It's biology. I just want to thank you all so much for watching and if you're not subscribed already, I hope you will subscribe and like this video because it helps out my channel a lot. And I'm just sending you warm midwinter wishes uh, because this is a very cozy time and it's a, it's a time of inspiration and planting seeds. So wherever you are, winter or summer or in the tropics, God bless you. I hope that you are taking care of yourself. I hope that you're okay. And again, just feel free to comment and reach out and let me know what your goals are. Or if you just like this video, or if you want to talk about cats, we can do that as well. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>